get it. Um, but this song is called The Age of Aquarius, which we are in now. And he says, in the beginning was the word, and the word manifested itself in the flesh. Well, there you go. That, that's it right there. That's what the word does. It manifests. Whichever became the man, all because of a divine plan. Man being lower than the angels, or angles, of light, over all earth was he given dominion. He devised his own destruction, but the word lives on and on. This is like basically what's going on in, in daily society, is that we've been given a certain level of dominion, and we just are unconscious of the power of our own being, but our power manifested in speech. And so we devise our own destructions by speaking them, by, by projecting them, by alliterating them, by regurgitating fear memes or any other kind of meme that is just not quite true or real. But the word lives on and on. So again, Jordan Peterson, I, I, I got to say this guy is like a hero right now for me. Check him out and you should get his book. It's called Maps of Meaning and he's brilliant. Uh, he's alive today. He's speaking all around the world about, about the freedom of speech because like I said, they've put laws out in Canada in which they're talking about putting out here that make it illegal for you to say certain things, which is ridiculous because the foundation of Western civilization is predicated on the logos as being divine, as being the creative force. So, speaking truth is the bulwark against hell. It's the countervailing force against tyranny and authoritarianism. What is the antidote against life suffering? Well, maybe you could build up walls of luxury around yourself, but that will soon fall apart and lead to suffering. Maybe you could build a delusion of fantasy and live in that but that will also fall apart. Well then, what is there to help you fight against suffering? That's easy, it's the truth. And the truth must be spoken and articulated.